Hello, this is BGFH back again for another assistive technology video and this time we're going to be taking another look at a Saratuk product here and this time I want to show you the System Access Mobile Network or SAMNET. Sa SAMNET Home 26 I'm help. Alt tab back to it here. I had it open in the background <clears throat> and to give you a brief history, um, you know, quickly SAMNET used to be what they used to call the Freedom Box or the Freedom Box Network and this actually came out before the System Access Screen Reader did and it was a way that they really wanted to introduce uh, like you know new computer users, new blind and visually impaired computer users to the computer so that you know if somebody didn't want to learn the you know hundreds and thousands of commands to you know run the computer in a full screen reader they could learn to use this SA or this uh, SAMNET or Freedom Box at the time and do a lot of the common things that people would want to do you know check email account check their email check the weather look at some news listen to some music uh, maybe a few videos um, just all kinds of you know different basic things that you know a lot of people like to do on the internet and on the computer nowadays so <clears throat> they've carried that over into the what they call the SAMnet or system access mobile network now and um, actually the modifier F command that I talked about in one of the previous videos that's kind of where that holdover came from from the Freedom Box days is the modifier F instead of modifier S. They just didn't change it when they switched everything to the System Access umbrella. So <clears throat> that's a little background on SAMnet and what it is. So SAMnet is basically, um, so I've heard some people call it like an AOL for blind people. Um, I suppose that's sort of kind of accurate, but it's more of like a general web portal and some extra features added on to boot. So uh, rather than blab about it more, I'm just going to go through some of them for you and show you kind of what makes this stuff unique. Um, before I do, I will mention that, you know, I said that when you buy the System Access Screen Reader, you don't have to pay for any upgrades or anything. SAMnet is a subscription service that is on top of that. If you do choose to subscribe to it, you can do it yearly, um, or you can do it monthly, or they have, like I said, over the last year or two, they've started adding so many diff different payment options that I won't go through them all here uh, with you. I would just recommend going to the Saratech website. Uh, just saratech.com and check out those you know different options for yourself or give them a call because um, you know you can bundle if you want to pay by month and you don't have the money to afford it all right away you know you can choose one or several or all of their features and just bundle them together and pay you know you know nine ten twenty thirty bucks a month and just get whatever services you want to build together to work so <clears throat> I I just typically pay yearly and here we go so we got our SAMnet browser here SAMnet home I'm at the top I'm just gonna tab through like I said everything is just a really simple menu driven interface so it's not complicated there's not a whole bunch of extra garbage to worry about just straight up links and content this week's featured podcast is Twit. This week in tech with Leo Laporte. Link. So the, in the last few months, they've added this little announcement section where they announce new podcasts or events or different things going on. I actually kind of find it handy. Kind of neat just finding out what's available. You have 30 new messages. Link. There's my email. 30 new messages. I got to check those. Email. Link. Email. Um, if I went to the 30 new messages thing, it would just bring me right to my new email. Uh, if I went to the email here, it'll just give new me window. all of my email options. Email like one. Read new mail. All my folders or read new mail. Send a message. Link. Send a message. Read save mail. Link. Save mail. Uh, save mail. Deleted items. Link. Deleted messages. IDT 592. Link. Those are some jokes. Those Link. are some of my folders that I had before and uh, I've added. But if I go, I'll just show you the email interface. Like I said, just to show you that everything is very simple, very streamlined, not bad at all. Read new mail. Link. So I'm gonna send a message. Link. I'm going to send a message. Send a message. One. Send a text message. Now I have two options here. Send a text message. Send a voice message. Link. Send a voice message. If I do have a microphone hooked up, I could actually send a voice message send a to text someone, message. but what it'll do is it'll just basically attach an audio file to a message instead, and I don't really recommend doing that um, just to, you know, save on their email or, you know, their email space, uh, storage space, and, you know, it takes longer to download and stuff. So if you have the means to type, I would just do a... Um, 
recommend doing the text one. Um, like I said, the other thing that they wanted to focus on with the, the Freedom Box stuff is they wanted to, you know, if people had other impairments besides vision, you know, maybe they had more mobility impairments, they would be able to just, you know, do some of this by voice um, and that kind of thing. So, you know, really just trying to work with people on that. So if I go into... Send a, vo send a text message link. Send a text message. To editable text link. I just, you know, I can shift tab. Add recipients from address book I button. I can do my address book. To editable text blank. To CC editable BCC editable subject editable text body editable text blank. Include my signature if any checkbox not checked. Check spelling button. Attach a file button. Send button. So all the typical things that you would expect in a regular email um, program. Very simple. Um, very nice interface. So with the subscription, you do get a separate email account. Uh, with it. SA Mobile Network. You are currently composing an email message. Yeah, so Sam Net Home. One email. So, <clears throat> you know, you do get that. And if you do sign up, you know, if you do sign up for SamNet, I would recommend almost using this as a personal email account. Don't sign up for newsletters. Don't order stuff using this account. Just give it to the very few people that you really like to contact. Because one thing I will say is it's <clears throat> It's a very good email as far as keeping spam out. I mean, I don't get any messages ever except for the ones I want to receive from my few personal friends and contacts and a few Saratech announcements every once in a while. That's it. So if you keep it clean like that, it might be a great personal email account to use. My newspaper, link. My newspaper, this is one of my favorite features of SamNet, and I use this constantly. I'll pop in here real quick. New window. What this is... My newspaper. One. End of line. In the old days of Freedom Box, and even still now, they have a news... or a, like a general news section where you can search by, you know, category like tech or um, politics or general news or news by state, whatever, or country. Um, but then they, you know, but then they have, you know, all kinds of either audio or text news, and you can add different you know, in, rather than going through each category and finding the specific news topic you want every time you want the news, if you go to a section that you like, at the bottom they have an add to my newspaper link, and then when you go to my newspaper, it's just boom, it's just the stuff that you want. And then they've added the feature where you can add any third-party podcast or general text RSS feed. So, you know, you like a website or a podcast, you know, that's not on here, you just go find, you know, oh, I like Engadget, so I'm, or I like The Verge, um, or whatever. So I will just go find the the actual HTML or XML address, you know, that they post on like an RSS feed thing, copy it and paste it in and make my own third-party news link, and then I have all those, I can access those third-party news links here. Um, works great. Um, End of line. Link. Now I'm going to go to this end of line. That's uh, this. Uh, that's one of the Saratech podcasts that they produce. Uh, in addition to software, they actually do podcasts. This bunch of them. They do like a general. Line. EO episode. So I'm going to pause it here. Um, but they do like you know a general technology one and an assistive technology one. Uh, Apple an Android show one, a general geeky one, this is that end of line one. So the, you know, it's the Serotalk, S-E-R-O-T-A-L-K, uh, is their Serotalk network, and they've got a bunch of different podcasts that you can check out. There's a low vision one now that they just added recently, so a lot of stuff there if you're interested in checking that out. So I'm in this uh, end of line podcast thing, if I want the so the newest episode link this one link equal episode nine the maneuver so whatever that's the first that's the latest episode if I hit the application key to right click menu open open oh, oh. I can open it and play it here open a new window and I can do that add to sync list or I can add to sync list now the sync list is beautiful because if you have a supported player portable player like uh, a lot of the general uh, blindness note takers, you know, the Braille note, the Braille sense, the PacMate, whatever. Um, but then if you have like, you know, a Book Sense or uh, Bookport Plus, or I have a Victor Reader Stream still, um, I can queue up a bunch of these, either their text or um, audio podcasts or email, for that matter, or pretty much anything on this network. 
I can queue up, I can add to my sync list, and the next time I connect my device, I'll tell it to sync, and then I don't have to be tied to my computer to listen to any of this content. So that works very good, Menu very well for that. Um, Open a new tab one. E -O -O so I love the sync list. Um, like I said, I use it for the my newspaper section all the time. I also use it Sam Neto, two, in my the oh, new crap. Window. I did not mean to hit enter again. My newspaper one. That. Block, Sam Neto. I'm going to tab here. I, I just hit escape and went back to the home screen here. Entertainment. Link. Entertainment. I use it in this section from time to time as well because I'm going to go new in window. here. Window. Entertainment. Please use one of the following 15 links. One. 28K music networks. We've got some music radio stations. The 128K just means it's really high quality. Accessible games. Link. Accessible games. There's some stuff in there that you can kind of peruse. I'm not going to go into all of these links because we'd be here forever. Audiobooks. Concerts. Speeches and recordings. Link. Pretty cool stuff in there, too. Describe video programming. Link. Here's when people find out about SamNet. This is what people also really like, generally, is the descriptive, describe video programming. So you have movies, TV shows, and a couple other odds and ends. Um, what they do is you don't get the whole video. You, know, you don't get the picture. But you get, like if you go to a movie, for instance, you get the whole audio described track from beginning to end. So you get the actual sound of the movie and then any description over it so I can listen to these on my computer or again I can go to a specific movie and add to my sync list and I can listen to on my stream or what have you um, anywhere I want I'm not tied to a computer very nice feature entertainment updates link history of rock and roll link. I'm just continuing to tab here news sites link podcasts link presets link radio link reading services audio on demand link Sports link. Support Zero Tech. Save money and the great service at Amazon.com. Link. Television. Link. Theater of the Mind. Link. Search. Drop down the. So I'm like I said, I'm not going to go with each one of these, but I mean that you can kind of see the variety of different stuff they have. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, some of these I haven't even been into for a long time, so I don't even know how much it's changed and what they've added into some of these, because um, I have so much to keep up with as it, as it is. But a lot of stuff there. I'm going to hit escape again, go back to my main Sam Sam Tone, three. home screen. Media library, link. Media library. This is where I go. New window. To do two main menu, things. Menu, library, list. Listen to a so two, link, sync list. Two is my favorite option because there's my sync list. Once I've added all this content that I want to listen to, I go in there, I hook up my stream or whatever portable device you have that's supported, and you just tell it to sync with it. Once it's connected, it recognizes it, and then it dumps it all onto your portable device and you're good to go. The other reason I like this uh, media section Sam Net Home for Media Library I Link. just escaped out of that, but the media the media library is on your home computer if you add like your uh, if you add a folder a music folder let's say to your media library. Um, and then you check a checkbox under your preferences. Um, I can go to work as long as my computer is on here, which I usually leave it on almost all the time. Um, and I can be at work or wherever, log in with with uh, SA to go or my thumb drive, and I can stream my home music library, my home media library, from wherever I am. So I don't if if I have a ton of music and I don't want to carry a hard drive or I don't have a big enough thumb drive or enough room on my MP3 player or phone, um, I can be at work and writing reports, jam into some tunes from my home media library. Perfect. So that's actually another thing that you get with the Samnet subscription. Pretty handy. Notes link. Notes. This is just a basic notes feature where you you know. Um, you can write little reminders or notes to yourself or whatever. And I should also mention that the stuff that you save into the notes or the SamNet browser itself can be used as a web browser. I can hit Control O anywhere. Open website new window. Please enter the address of the website you want to open in a new window. Editable text blank. So I don't have to stick to what they want to. Um, I can go to Google, Amazon, YouTube, wherever I want, Samnet. and or any other website, and I can just uh, you know browse it just like any just like I would in Internet Explorer or any other browser. Um, but when I bookmark them, it's not going to bookmark it on my computer. It's going to bookmark it using my Samnet account. So 
If I'm at home, it'll be there. If I'm at work or halfway across the country or the world, it'll be there. So it's kind of, you know, yeah, similar to like what the Google bookmarks do if you do it that way or similar services. But, you know, Samnet, if there's something that I really, you know, I mean, I do use the normal web browsers most of the time for browsing the Internet. But I... If I really want something important bookmarked, I will bookmark it in here as well because that way it travels with, with me wherever I go and I'm like, oh, I forgot to bookmark that or I forgot to, you know, I have it bookmarked at home and I can't access it here. So, you know, bookmarks and notes as well. Those notes that we just found, if I write them, I can access them anywhere. So that's the nice thing about a lot of their cloud support that they have. Weather. Weather. This is like a just a simplified weather interface. New window. Updated, 7.31 p.m. CET on September 10, 2012. Observe at Ryan Avenue, Roseville, Minnesota. Temperature, 75.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 24.3 degrees Celsius. Humidity, uh, 41%, 2.50. So, it's still pretty hot. But, you know, there's no ads, there's no garbage, there's nothing. It's just the current temperature, and if I go down far enough, I get to the forecast. Boom. Done. Um, so, that's, you know, you get the Sam weather. Net. Socializer. Inc. Socializer. I'll pop into here Socializer. Real quick. Contacts. Sign in. Head contacts so socializer this is a thing that they've added fairly recently where if I have like an MSN or a Yahoo Messenger account I can set that up and log in here and just chat with my uh, contacts that way Facebook link I can do basic Facebook stuff like I mean you're not gonna play any of the like the games or any other weird little add-on things but you can look at people you know you can look at your wall you can post to your wall um, basic things like that. Twitter. Inc. Twitter, same thing. Um, you're not going to use some of the extras, but uh, you can post a tweet. You can... Everyone you follow, it'll show up in your feed so you can see what everyone's latest tweet is. Voice chat, welcome, log empty. Inc. Voice chat, um, they, they do have... Um, Samnet also has many chat rooms, voice chat rooms, so there's a general welcome lobby, there's a tech one, there's, I mean, all sorts of different... Um, chat rooms that you can visit if you want to um, and just chat with people via voice chat users forum 2041 new messages link users forum is where you kind of get together with other samnet users and talk about like system access or samnet or other serotech stuff and get help well, you know if you need help with something they can kind of help you out there or you can help other people there spn radio link uh, SPN Radio, they have the little on online radio station where they do they play music most of the time, but then during like conventions like you know CSUN or Asia or the Summer Blindness conventions, they got their interviews and coverage there. Pretty cool. Listen to Zero Talk Podcast 122. Welcome to Zero Couch. <laughs> and then there, th then it just goes into a lot of the recent um, updates that they've put in in the Serotech community. So you get you know, podcasts, blog entries, news feeds, just kind of whatever is happening in the general thing. That's what the socializer is. Netto, LS login, link. Then, um, this is something I've added myself. Um, fairly recently, they gave you the opportunity to customize your homepage. So if there's like a site you visit all the time or something, I can just plop it on my homepage here instead of add, going to my bookmark. And I can just jump right to it. So I have my NLS login there. Users forum, 2041 new, link. Users forum. My forum, link. My forums, like I said, they're just like the um, chat rooms. There's a lot of different categories for forums, any kind of topic you want. Or you can create your own topic if it's not there and you want to create one specifically. Music, link. Gaming music, so link. So music and gaming music, gaming music the, these are actually... Rather than going into the media library and finding everything, and I've just set up shortcuts to um, my both of those music folders on my home computer. So if I'm out using my thumb drive or SA to go, I can just pop instantly those and just start listening to my music. So kind of handy there. News link. There's our news section where we can all the news areas that Saratech has added to their to their content there. Sports link. Sports. DocuScan Plus link. DocuScan Plus. I will cover this in another video in the future. Uh, that's their document scanning program that works very cool, actually. Information link. Information. There's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff under there worth checking out. I won't go. Like I said, I could be here all day going through all these features. Voice chat link. Um, voice chat. There's there's the, all the voice chat. If you just don't want the welcome room, you want to choose a category, go in there. Tons of them in there. Samnet community member resources link. Bookmarks link. 
There's your bookmarks I was talking about that you get to save in the cloud. My blog link. <coughs> they do have a simple blog and a website that you can create um, if you don't want to use like one of the mainstream ones. Uh, I chose to go elsewhere, but uh, if you want to just keep it really, really simple and straightforward, you can do that. Personal website link. See, like I said, there's your website there. My files link. My files, this is where if you don't want to leave the SAMnet experience, like if you're a really beginner computer user and you don't want to you know, go around Windows very much, you can still kind of access your files through this interface here. Active downloads link. Same with your download, anything you download to your computer. Your downloads, that's where they're going to be. My account link. My account, just like in your preferences menu area that we looked at in the last video. Um, that's where your uh, my account, you can change all that stuff and buy or try services. Remote control, another computer link. <clears throat> this is the other feature that I will cover in a future video that I think is very cool and I think is definitely worth. Um, the subscription because you can use it in two ways uh, like my home computer uh, or any computer that I have a license for if I leave it on uh, like if I leave this one on and then I go to work I can run my thumb drive or essay to go connect to it and just work on my computer like I can work on this computer here for at work um, or I can work at work sitting in front of my home computer essentially and it's totally accessible. I'll just be using the full system access uh, program and it works great for that and I can copy files back and forth as well or if I let's say I'm at work and I don't I want to download something but I don't want to download it because it's not you know really for work I can it'll ask me hey do you want to download this to your home computer and I'll say yeah sure I do uh, so it'll be ready when I get home so that's some of the functionality there now also if you have other people that you know who are SAMnet subscribers you can request access or they can request access to you and you can remote control each other's computers so if somebody needs technical support or if you want to help somebody out or if they need to help you or if they have a program you have that you want to look at or you have a program that they want to look at you can again do that or even you know transfer files back and forth uh, if you want to um, again, I will try to go through some of that a little bit in a future video, but that's one of the features that is tied to your SAMnet subscription, and I think one of the things that make it worth really paying for. Help link. And then your help options. That's where you get your... I'll go in here real quick. New window. Zero Tech Online Help. We strongly Zero recommend that you get the entire DocuScan Plus for Mac. Link. So you get DocuScan. DocuScan Plus for Windows. Link. SamNet. System Access Mobile Network. Link. So there's your SamNet area for their SamNet help. System Access. Link. System Access. That's your full screen reader help. So if I go in there. System Access. Heading. Table of Contents. One. System Access Basics. Windows and Navigation Basics. Link. Application Overviews. Link. I'm just tabbing through these. Virtual Mouse. Link. Remote Access Options for System Access. Link. So you just, you know, these are just different sections where if you want to learn how to use the product more or learn about features or get some of the keyboard commands that I, you know, that I haven't really talked Samnet. about or learn how to use it fully, you go right there and boom, all the information is there for you. And they do have some audio tutorials as well. Search, drop down list, system access mode. <clears throat> and that is the end of the main menu. So that is a rough overview Help. of some of the Samnet features overall. And like I said, in the future, I will try to cover some other things. I, I do want to cover for sure the remote control feature. And I do want to cover, you know, the DocuScan and other things like that as well. So, um, you know, I went through some of this stuff pretty fast. But like I said, because there are so many links here, it would take me forever to go through them in one or two videos. So um, I just want to give you a brief glimpse to see, you know, give you something to think about if there's, you know, like I said, they have trials and you can use SA to go to sign up for a trial for a SAMnet or, you know, anything like that. Um, definitely worth looking into if that sounds interesting to you. And if you want to see any of these features in more detail, leave a comment below and I will see what I can do to, uh, you know, to do another video on a specific feature or features that you guys want to see. And uh, with that, I'm going to unload System Access and hope... Shutting down System Access. Last time, I this is my second time actually recording this. And last time I did that, my computer went a little screwy and it did not record. Come on. Okay. 
So we will hope that um, everything goes well. And with that, I will talk to you guys next time.